And they have a deal with the religious establishment in Saudi Arabia that gives them legitimacy uh, and gives them cover, in a sense, uh, with many of their own people. And I think this is something that they are going to have to get a better handle on. Uh, they made this deal after the Iranian Revolution, after the at attack on the Grand Mosque in Mecca in 1979, uh, and it has continued. Uh, they're trying to put the genie back in the bottle, but it's... I was going to ask, I've heard some people say that they're trying to slowly but surely moderate those forces. Are King they Abdullah succeeding? tried. Yeah, King Abdullah tried to do that. It's unclear. King Salman's attitude is going to be. Yeah. Uh, he has fired some of Abdullah's people who were considered more moderate, and I think we're going to have to keep a close eye on that. If there is an accord with uh, the Iranians uh, and sanctions are lifted, that will obviously inv reinvigorate an Iranian economy, yeah. and that will, I would think, pose an even larger threat uh, in that section of the world to Saudi Arabia specifically, in that Iran, Iran with its wealth and it's newly with this new accord will be the superpower in that region. What does that do to Saudi Arabia and the hierarchy? Uh, that's a very important point. I, de I deal with that in the book as well. I think the Saudi concern about Iran is not so much military uh, as it is economic. Mm -hmm. uh, Iran, once sanctions are lifted, is going to be an economic powerhouse. Uh, they have enormous human capital, they have great natural resources, and they have the will uh, and the ability uh, and the drive uh, to compete economically in a way that uh, we don't see from the Saudis. Uh, 